Welcome back to the 2020 Baseball Victoria Awards Night for our third and final night. We hope you're all staying safe and healthy, and we thank you for joining us as we celebrate the achievements of the Victorian baseball community. We named our Volunteer and Coach of the Year, as well as individual award winners for VSBL Division 1, 2 and 3, and Women's Division 1. We congratulate those award winners. We invite Pete Laser to continue his role as MC and host as we move on to the next stage of the awards. Let's start our third night out with the Club Champion Awards, which are based on results from the whole of a club, with points accumulated throughout the season from all teams. Congratulations to Williamstown Wolves Baseball Club, the 2019-20 Division II Club Champion. Next, let's award the Peter Dim Shield, which is presented to the Division I Club Champion. It gives me great pleasure to announce the Blackburn Orioles Baseball Club winners of the Peter Dim Shield for 2019-20. Congratulations to Blackburn Orioles Baseball Club and to Peter Dim for his continued support. Congratulations to both clubs for a successful season both on and off the field. Ladies and gentlemen, we move now to the real business end of the evening. I will read the top five vote winners from each division and at the end, we will know who each division's most valuable player is. We shall start with the Division 4 East Most Valuable Player Award. Our finalists for Division 4 East MVP are, in fifth place, Cameron Rogers of Waverley with 12 votes. Fourth place, Ashley Island of Monash University with 13 votes. Third place, Pat Cotter of Melbourne with 15 votes. Second place, Frank Webb of Waverley with 16 votes. And the winner of the 2019-20 Division 4 East Most Valuable Player with 20 votes is Chuck Rapnayaka from Fitzroy Lions Baseball Club. Congratulations, Chuck. We move on to the Division 4 Northwest Most Valuable Player Award. Finalists for Division 4 Northwest MVP are fifth place, Sam Bart of Fitzroy with 16 votes. Fourth place, Reveal Prasad of North Coburg with 17 votes. Third place, Matt Martin of Footscray with 19 votes. In second place, Nathan Sims of Mitchell Majors with 23 votes. And the winner of the 2019-20 Division 4 Northwest Most Valuable Player with 37 votes is Servio Castillo from Footscray Bulldogs Baseball Club. Congratulations, Servio. And capping off our awards for Division 4 with the Division 4 South Most Valuable Player Award. Finalists for Division 4 South MVP. In equal fifth, Wayne Porter of Berwick and Paul Quinn of Berwick, each with nine votes. Equal third, Justin Oosterhuis of Melbourne and Jonathan Momsen of St Kilda, each with 11 votes. In second place, Russell Ferguson of Cheltenham with 14 votes. And the winner of the 2019-20 Division 4 South Most Valuable Player with 22 votes is Michael McKay from Monash University Farmers Baseball Club. Congratulations, Michael. Next, it's time for the Division 3 Most Valuable Player Award. Our finalists for the Division 3 MVP are, in equal fifth, Scott Bailey of Springvale and Danny Canizzaro of Pakenham, each with 13 votes. In fourth, Tim Hansen of Springvale with 14 votes. In third place, Lucas Anderson of Springvale with 16 votes. In second, Trent Job of Pakenham with 20 votes. And the winner of the 2019-20 Division Three Most Valuable Player with 22 votes is Gion Kiansu from the Ormond Glen Huntley Hunters Baseball Club. Congratulations, Gion. The Division Two Most Valuable Player is awarded with the Robert R. Hunson Medal. Our finalists for the Division Two MVP are, in fifth place, Kevin Desmond of Williamstown with 25 votes. Equal third, Jade Thorne of Williamstown and Ben Donnell of Preston, each with 26 votes. Second place, Zach Kammerman of Moorabbin with 27 votes. And the winner, of the 2019-20 Division II Most Valuable Player and recipient of the Robert R. Heitzen Medal with 28 votes is Billy Parsons from Port Melbourne Mariners Baseball Club. 
congratulations, Billy, on another great season with the Mariners. And now for the 2019-20 Women's Division I Most Valuable Player Award. Finalists are equal fifth, Gabby Bevan of Springvale and Ayumi Ikiyama of Springvale, each with 14 votes. Third place, Shay Lillywhite of Springvale with 17 votes. In second, Bronwyn Gell of Doncaster with 18 votes. Our winner from Essendon Bombers Baseball Club with 25 votes is Abby Kelly. Congratulations, Abby, on a wonderful season. Let's hear a few words from our Women's Division One MVP. Hey guys, found this little gem, the Women's Division One MVP award in my mailbox early this afternoon. Thanks to VV for organising this event and for all the hard work they put in to make each season run smoothly. I'd like to also thank those who support women's baseball, the committee members, scorers and volunteers at Essendon Baseball Club, as well as the umpires, supporters and the opposing teams for the challenging competition. Finally, I'd like to thank Wayne Davenport and the Essendon girls. I had a fun season last year and I'm super excited for the coming season. Stay safe and see you soon. Before we get into our final award of the evening, it's time to present the Harry Wanacott Medal to the Division One Grand Final Series MVP. The umpires from the Grand Final Series have awarded the Harry Wanacott Medal for best on field to Andrew Jones from the Blackburn Orioles Baseball Club. Congratulations, Andrew, on a fantastic achievement. Our final award for this evening is the Division One Most Valuable Player. Our finalists for the Division One MVP are, in equal fourth, Jeremy Young of Sunshine and Lars Liguri of Cheltenham with 23 votes. In third place, Jacob Evans of Blackburn with 24 votes. In second place, Cody Anderson of Sandringham with 25 votes. And the winner of the 2019-20 George S. Heron Medal with 27 votes is Andrew Russell from the Waverley Wildcats Baseball Club. Congratulations, Andrew. Let's hear from our Division One MVP. Good day to everyone in, uh, in, in lockdown. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Um, very, very proud to be uh, accepting uh, this award today. A um, few people I, I, I just want to thank. Um, I want to thank Waverley Baseball Club, um, Bridey, my teammates, um, the whole club, anyone who served me a beer this year. Um, we've, we've had a lot of fun this year. Um, you guys have motivated me to train and play and, 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 and you know, and obviously put in good performances. Um, the, the, the club has invested in me since I was a young person. Um, you know, from juniors, Jim Burr, Kerry Gasner, Matty Sheldon Collins, um, and then into seniors, Dan McConnon, Clarko, um, Dorsey and Whitey come along. Um, you start to see some success there and it just drives you to, to keep playing and, and enjoying it. Um, and then uh, obviously Phil, Dale and, and Neil Burke, and then the, they, they ended up giving me an opportunity to play professional baseball, which um, in terms of a journey, it's, it's, it's brought me to this point. It gave me, you know, gave me experiences that have, that have, have helped me get better at this game. And at age 36 now, um, I'm accepting this award, which is a huge honor. Um, so thanks thanks to all those all those people that I've just mentioned, among others, anyone who's helped me with my baseball, um, thanks a lot. Uh, to the Amps, um, thanks thanks for the votes, guys. Um, you guys do a, a terrific job, so, so thanks to you. Um, to my folks who, you know, support me since you know always so so thanks thanks to, to jim and sandra um to sarah who you know still lets me play baseball um it gets way harder um as you get older um you know, life kids work baseball it's um it's complex and uh, without that support i wouldn't be able to do it so um, very grateful Thanks to Cez, thanks to, to everyone. Um, yeah, really proud to accept this. Um, hope everyone's doing well. 
that brings a close to the broadcast of our 2020 Baseball Victoria Awards Night, proudly presented by My Sport Live. It's been an absolute honour to present these awards. And we hope that everyone watching has enjoyed the presentation over the course of a couple of evenings. Congratulations to all of our winners from across each night of the ceremony. And thank you to everyone for their attendance online and, of course, your continuous support of baseball. I'll hand back to our Baseball Victoria President, Miles Foreman, to wrap up proceedings. We extend our thanks to Pete Laser for being our MC and host and delivering a great three nights so we could celebrate the efforts of the Victorian baseball community from the 2019-20 season. Congratulations to all our award winners. We look forward to getting back onto the diamond as soon as possible, as it is safe and possible to do so. Baseball Victoria continues to take on support and direction from the Victorian government officials and liaise with Victorian baseball clubs regarding the upcoming season. We appreciate everybody's efforts across the past six months in dealing and responding to the COVID-19 crisis. We will get through this together. Thank you again for watching, stay safe and see you soon. Baseball Victoria would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our wonderful Victorian baseball clubs for season 2019-20 and their continued support of baseball in Victoria.